An upstate gas station attendant is shot in the face and left for dead. Tonight, the Rutherfordton man who may have saved her life speaks exclusively with News 13. Darren Patello joins us live from our Greenville News Center. And Darren, what's the woman's condition tonight? Frank, authorities in Anderson County say Raju Labin Patel is still in critical condition, but she's lucky to be alive after a good Samaritan from Rutherford County found her just in the nick of time. Michael Wheat gets off of work and makes a pit stop at this Anderson County BP. He's been doing it for the last four years and has become familiar with the attendant, Radu Labin Patel. Just by going into the store about every day. Last night, Wheat got off of work around 1030. He stopped at the same convenience store on Highway 153 off Interstate 85, but no Patel. Oh, they went in that other place. I you know, mean, that's what, so what we're weird about it. I mean, it just looked like there wasn't nobody there at first. So we peered behind the counter. Then I seen the clerk laying there on the floor and bleeding pretty bad. Wheat says it's the most blood he's ever seen coming from a living person. She just had blood all over her head. A big old puddle of blood in the floor. And uh, I left the store and got in my truck. Called 911. Wheat says he ran back into the store without knowing whether or not the shooter already left. She was kind of moaning as she was breathing. As it turns out, the shooter did already flee the scene. This surveillance footage shows the suspect moments before asking for cigars and then shooting Patel without taking any money. I almost didn't believe it. Shaylin Sarzinski works at the Waffle House right next to the BP. She's also become close with Patel. She always asked how everybody was, how their day was. She asked how my daughter was every day that I came in here. Customers already miss Patel's smiling face and just hope her shooter is brought to justice. I hope he spends the rest of his life in prison, or better yet, the death penalty. There wasn't no need for doing what he did. Authorities say if you have any information about this shooting, you're being asked to call Crime Stoppers at one triple eight crime sc Live in the Greenville News Center, Darren Botello, News 13.